Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil. But in this one, we are playing as the Jill on standard mode. What is this? Wow, what a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! A dining room. Yes, Barry. That's exactly what that is. Alright, so let's open up our menu, and as you can see, Jill has more inventory space because she decided to equip her fanny pack for this mission. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Cut to Chris being eaten on the second floor. Barry is investigating. Ah, I got a better idea. Let's do this instead. Wesker! I found pools of blood! Investigate if you hear any gunfire. Lost courage already? It's not like you. You know, you're all acting pretty chipper when you just saw one of your teammates die horrifically to a dog. Who is it? Hey, you! Stop! Run, Jill! He's insane! What the hell? Let's report this to Wesker. The world's most durable zombie, as it took three of the Magnum shots to kill it. Very impressive. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Sure thing. Now I think we can just do this. There we go. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. 
This time, I'll be there. And with that, we got... Nothing. Okay, never mind. We have it, it's just not in our inventory for some strange reason. Alright, let's get the map. There we go. And jump scare. Okay, uh, do, do, do. Nothing, that's right. Jump scare. And let's continue on. We'll use the lock. Uh, oh no. We'll just have to use the armor key just for its use because it's going to be completely useless there because it's just herbs. Nothing too major. Time to grab a weapon. Ooh, a shotgun. Don't mind if I do. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, um... Uh... Help! Someone! Anyone! Help me! Hey, what's going on? Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Perry? Help me, please! The door won't open! Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Hurry! This way! Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But, Barry... Didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Barry, thank you in more ways than one. You brought us a glorious meme, you magnificent son of a bitch. We salute you. A zombie head explosion salute. Hey, get over here! We're being... We're trying to make a tribute! Ah, there we go. Zombie. And down you go. Whoops. Didn't mean that. That's alright. We can always loot the chest. Like right now. We'll grab the chemicals on our way out. But for now, let's just grab the clips. Eh, we can put the knife away. We don't need it. 
I won't need it, he says, like, until, like, five or so, like, minutes into the game. Oh my god, I need it! I wasted so much ammo! Alright, take the chemical. And let's -a go! Uh, we'll leave the herbs. I'm sure we'll be fine. Zombies. Oh, I guess if they're too close, they won't do the drop. Okay, then. That's a little cheap. We'll just leave. Because we need to go get something else. Alright, fine. Since I'm going to be coming out of, in and out of this hole a lot. There we go. Barry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa. This hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. Right. Pools of blood. I wonder whose these are. Hope they're not Chris's blood. Aw, uh, we don't get the cutscene. That sucks. But hey, in exchange we get a grenade launcher. Oh, sorry, the bazooka. It's Forrest. He's been pecked to death by crows. Oh no, the crows. Bye. you wonder why Chris doesn't get the grenade launcher. Hmm. Did I actually kill you? We're also gonna go drop the acid shells off. We're saving those for emergencies. Mainly close to endgame. That's how I'd like to have it. Uh, these zombies just vomit on me, so can I just like... Yeah, there we go. Not too worried about it. And let's go into the safe room, like I said, drop off the acid shells, and continue on our way to go get the armor key. Need an armor key for that. Gotta go get the jewel as well. I think I'm gonna go do that first. 
we go. Pick up the jewel. One of the Chaos Emeralds. Now Jill can go Super Jill, because she has a cheat code. No, she doesn't. Uh, yeah, we'll use the shotgun. There we go. Go into the tiger room, give the blue gem to the tiger, and get some goodies. Here we go. Statue resets. And let's be on our merry way. Should I grab some more ammo? The answer is yes. Alright, let's grab this clip here so we're still good on handgun ammo. Hello, book. Hello, zombie. Goodbye, zombie. I need these, though. Can I have them? Thank you. Eh, why not? They're just gonna get in my way otherwise. Or it was just the one zombie. Hmm, interesting. Why is it that Chris has to deal with two zombies down this hall? It's almost like playing as Jill makes the game a little easier. Hmm. But with this, the armor key is now ours. Woohoo! This should lead to more shotgun bullets or clip, depending upon what's in the drawer. And since we're not Chris, we can use our lockpick to open said door. Well, drawer door. Drawer door. Whole door's third cousin twice removed. Shotgun ammo. Don't mind if I do. Alright, I do believe this door. Oh, nope, just the lockpick. We'll tend to it later. Let's use up the armor key first. Alright, unlock this door. I said unlock this door. Thank you. Unlock this door. And unlock. Right, there's one more area. Alright, no zombie down that way. But let's enter this area first. Aw, oh, no berry cutscene. That's a shame. But what's this? Researchers will. My dear Alma, the fact that you have received this letter is both a joy and a sadness for me. I could not even talk to you because of that guy in the sunglasses. I wonder who that is. Alma, be calm and read this. I think I have told you that I moved to a pharmaceutical company's lab. They headhunted me. Last month, there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying escaped. All my colleagues who are infected by the virus are dead. To be accurate, they've become the living dead. They still wander around. Some of them are knocking on my room door desperately right now but there's no sign of intelligence in their eyes. That cursed virus takes away all humanity from the human brain, love, joy, sorrow, fear, humor, eternally. And Alma, even the memories of my days I spent with you? Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forgot more about you by the day. So I, cho so I chose a peaceful death rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Goodbye, and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. 
Dude, could you imagine Resident Evil Zero actually, instead of being about Rebecca and Billy, it was more about what happened in the mansion incident? Like, you played as one of the characters who wrote down these things, and you're like, Oh shit, things suck. Alright, and the last bit of the armor key has been used. And now we can go do some puzzles, get some crests, and call it a day, I guess. Okay, we got explosive rounds from the solving that puzzle. That's actually really good. I like that. Yep, push it. Another crest got. The Sun Crest! Alright, all that's left is the star and the moon. What could be down here, I wonder? Oh my god! Richard! What happened? Jill, this house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake and also poisonous. Ugh. Poisonous? Oh, no. Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh, no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Well, damn. You know, Richard, if the poison doesn't get you, that gape, those gaping bite marks are gonna probably make you bleed to death. Also, this is snake poison that's been infected with the T-Virus. I don't think it really plays by normal rules, but according to the game... No, wait, no. No, it doesn't, because he fucking dies. Oh, gee, spoilers. Yes, fake drop. Who cares? Goodbye. Vommy zombies, vommy zombies. And in the safe room to get the serum. And the serum get. Alright, so I'm gonna put away real quick the shotgun and the bazooka rounds. That's fine for now. Back the way I came. Bye bye! Ha. Nope. You tried, but I'm not into that fetish. Jill says triumphantly. Do the fake drop or whatever, I don't fucking care. 
and goodbye. Could you imagine getting the Barry cutscene around this point? It's like, Jill, have you found anything? And Jill's like, Barry, I don't have time. Whoa, this hall is dangerous. Barry, please, Richard is dying. Just a moment. Barry, please, can this wait? It's a weapon. She holds her gun to Barry. God damn it, Barry! Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh, uh. Richard is dead. What a shame. Ooh, he's holding something. Yes, I'll take the clip. Alright, time to go solve another puzzle. Alright, let's grab this emblem here because we're gonna need it. And then let's continue to the music room. Alright, time to solve a puzzle. And push, push. And here we have the music notes. Da, 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 da. And unlike Chris, the Jill can read music. And with that puzzle solved, Jill, please let go of the wall. Grab the gold emblem and trap activates. Oh no, whatever shall I do? I'm in so much peril. Someone come save me, please. I am a damsel in distress. No, I'm not. And with that, we can solve yet another puzzle. Puzzle after puzzle after puzzle. Don't you love it? You know, Jigsaw would probably fit right at home in the Resident Evil universe. And with this, we get, no, not the picture of a woman, we get the shield key! Alright, so I'm actually gonna go gear up real quick. Alright, we are back. I got the bazooka. And hopefully we can fight Yawn here and not make it go south. The mansion key has been used. No one cares what you think, zombie. Go away. Yeah, that's right, you better fuck off. You bastard. And with that, the crest is mine. <laughs> the moon crest. Now it's time to go get the star. Once I get off this shelf. 
And I saw those shotgun bullets over there. You can't hide from me. Come here, you. All right, let's go get that fourth crest. Bang, boom, bleep, sploop, and splish, and bushki. Star crest got. All right. Bye, crows. Bye.